So welcome to the first ever The Buck Stops Here, which is my attempt in all the schools that I go around uh, and the privilege to visit on a daily basis. Uh, and no better place to start The Buck Stops Here than at Kettering Blue Academy in Northamptonshire. Uh, this is a school that three years ago had a progress A of minus 0.32 and this year came in at plus 6.1, which is something else. Um, and I've had the privilege to, to, to see that journey from, a, from afar. Um, I'm with Dino De Salvi. Oh, no, he's not even Dino De Salvi. He's Dino <laughs> De Salvo. Get that right, Andy. Um, sorry about that, Dino. <laughs> What did, what did you focus on, Andino, when you were, when you, you know, this is an incredible journey. How did you do it? Yeah, the, I think the three priorities for us were the, the curriculum and behaviour and getting the, the culture of ethos. Uh, uh -huh. we, we believe here that it doesn't matter where all students come from, or how else, the state, or what street they're coming, catering, that all students yeah. can achieve and that culture of ambition. But behaviour was like the number one yeah, thing number you one, wanted get, to get first. Yeah, we wanted to really yeah. centralise attention to this, the academy, the kind of homework, uh, behaviour and lessons, that low level disruption that really interrupts teaching and learning. Yeah, okay. And so you nailed that. So the difference from when I was here three years ago is the behaviour was pretty good then, if I'm yes, honest, that's right. but it looked like there was quite a lot of compliance, whereas walking around today, I mean, I've never seen a sixth form unsupervised study area with as many people in it, like working, yeah. like troopers, but that was in lessons as well, all through the school. How, how do you think you've got, you've created that? Because you've gone from people doing it sort of behaving because they have to, like almost it feels like they're behaving now because they want to. Yeah, we talk a lot about a culture of ambition and that one of our values have been that determination, ambition. So we really speak about students that all students can achieve and that, that thirst for learning and about that it comes with that self-regulating their own behaviour and their, right. their knowledge and Great. wanting stuff. And like we're standing right next to your values board yep. here and I just noticed, you know, it just trips off your tongue, yep. but there it is, respect, determination, ambition. They're three of the six United Learning uh, goals, aren't they, yep. that you've, you've, you're really yep. focusing on, which is which is fantastic. So I've got, I've just got one other question really, because obviously my big passion is leadership. Yep. Um, how have you led this? You know, it's, what, 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 you know, if you reflect on your leadership, it's a bit of a weird question. Yeah. By the way, I'm catching, I'm catching Dino out completely off guard. He had no idea I was going to do this. Um, yeah, what, how have you led it? What, what's been the... Uh, I think it's been about that hands-on approach to leadership, role modeling, that my sphere of influence. I talk about influence here a lot, about leadership influence, from SLT to leadership to, to pedagogy in the classroom. So it's about yeah. hands-on and really leading, modeling everything I try to do as a leader. And Mary Myatt would say, um, you know, when you get all this sort of flashy stuff, it needs to be lived, not laminated absolutely. when it comes to values and, and so on. That's what you're saying really yeah. here, isn't it? That you're modelling this from the top as yeah, a leader and then seeing what happens from absolutely. there. Absolutely. I think yeah. we, 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 we live and breathe it and we, yeah. we talk about it. Fantastic. Action well, thank you. And a lovely lunch as well. So yeah. um, it's been an absolute privilege to be here today. Um, if you've liked this and you think I should do more of them to celebrate what we're doing, then retweet it or send me a comment or just honk. <laughs>